Hi guys, this is Deeksha and we are at the LG event today where the company has introduced its first smartphones that have been made in India. It's the new LG K series and the phone that we have in our hands right now is the new LG K10. The other phone that the company has launched is the LG K7. We will talk about the LG K10 first. So both the phones have been given with a design which the company calls a pebble design. The LG K10 right here has a woven back panel. The edges are curved. Interestingly, the company has not provided any buttons on the edges. So the power button and the volume rockers have been provided on the back. The rest of the port placement is standard. You get the micro USB port, the audio jack and the primary microphone on the bottom edge along with a secondary microphone on the top edge. Because both the phones come with the curved and textured back panels, these phones are extremely convenient to handle. And with 5.3 inch and 5 inch displays, one hand usage on both these phones is not an issue at all. The display on the LG K10 is a 5.3 inch display with HD resolution. The display looks sharp enough, but the colors look slightly washed out. The brightness seems adequate indoors, but the screen is highly reflective, so you could get issues while walking with it in bright sunlight. The LG K10 comes powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor and it has 2 GB of RAM to aid the processing. In terms of storage, it ships with 16 GB of built-in memory, out of which you get about 10.6 GB for your use. So the LG K10 ships with Android 5.1 Lollipop out of the box with LG's custom UI on top. However, the interface is almost stock. In terms of preloaded apps, the LG K10 ships with all apps from Google, Evernote. Talking about the cameras, the LG K10 sports a 13 megapixel primary camera on the back assisted by an LED flash. On the front, you get a 5 megapixel camera for selfies. The default camera app for the LG K10 looks like any other camera app you would find. There's a settings toggle a toggle to switch to the front camera, one to operate the LED flash. Under the camera settings, you do not get a lot of options apart from, apart from having control over the aspect ratio of the picture you're going to click. As you can see, the phone supports double tap to wake up gesture, but it's not very responsive. Among other gestures, the LG K10 comes with LG's signature gesture shot feature for the camera, so you can click a selfie while making a fist in front of the sensors. In terms of battery, the LG K10 comes back by a 2300mAh battery. It sounds enough to make the phone last through a day, but there's a battery saver mode as well for you to extract all the juice out of the battery. Let's take a quick look at the LG K7 now. In terms of design, the LG K7 is not very different from the LG K10. However, the texture on the back panel is not woven. It sports a similar pebble design with no buttons on the edges but on the back. And the port placement is exactly similar as we found on the LG K10. The screen on this phone is however 5 inches and it's not an HD display. Also, the LG K7 is also powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. The processor on this phone is aided by 1.5 GB of RAM. And in terms of built-in storage, the LG K7 ships with just 8 GB out of which you get only 3.8 GB for your use which is a little disappointing. The LG K7 sports a 5 megapixel primary camera aided by an LED flash and a 5 meg snapper on the front as well. The default camera app remains similar though. The LG K7 is backed by a 2125mAh battery and this phone also comes with the same power saving mode. So the battery sounds enough to make the LG K7 last a day. Rest of the specs remain similar for the LG K7. Now the LG K7 is priced at Rs 9500 while the LG K10 right here is priced at Rs 13500 In terms of competition, the LG K10 faces serious competition from the likes of Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 and the Low Eco LE1S, both of which are very loaded devices as compared to the LG K10. And when we talk about the LG K7, you get a similar competition from the likes of the 2GB version of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3, the Mizu M2 and the Coolpad Note 3, all of which offer way too much of features as compared to the LG K7. The company has not revealed the availability details on both of these phones. We'll be getting you more on these devices as we review them. Till then, stay tuned and thank you for watching.